Pay careful attention to the H at the end. Moshiach. 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 It's just like gurgling. A gurgling. You know the sound that babies make. You know. It has that sort of a sound right there. But the word now on the bottom is Messiah or Moshiach. Moshiach. We say in the Ethiopic, Moshiach. 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 And Moshiach. Moshiach. This is why you can overstand. Like in the Bible, there's a very interesting key within the Metaf Kedus in the, in the Wengel in the New Testament. When it is said that Yetachin was upon the Meskel or the cross. And he said... Elohe Elohe Lama Sabakhtani, which is more ancient, they say Hebrew or Aramaic, and it is to say, My God, I'm lucky, I'm lucky, Lemon You understand? My God, my God, why have you left me or why have you forsaken me? Now, in that particular excerpt of the scriptures, if you go and you study that within the New Testament, the so called the crucifixion, you will find that the people who stood around, they were saying, oh, let's wait around. He's waiting for Elijah. He must be talking about Elijah. He's calling to Elijah, right? Because he said, Elohe, Elohe, lama sabachthani. The part they focus on was Elohe, Elohe. So when they saw Elohe, or when they heard, rather, Elohe, they thought that the Moshiach, that Yesus Getachim was calling upon Elijah and they said let's see if Elijah's come he's calling to Elijah this man he's crazy he's calling to Elijah now the question that we have is why would they think that if they have sought out of the book and if they had read because you can tell if you study the Hebrew the biblical Hebrew that that comes from Psalm, I think it's 22, it's the crucifixion psalm, Psalm 22, where it said that, that Negus, uh, Negush Dawid, he prophesied of the crucifixion of the Messiah, and this is going to dovetail into the point about the two Messiahs, the Messiah being Yosef and the Messiah being David, but this is interesting, because what we're learning now when we study the Elohe, Elohe, my God, my God, or in your King James Bible, you will have Eloi, Eloi, in one place, they will have Eloi, Eloi, um, Lama Sabachthani, when you go to Mark chapter 15, verse 34, where it says, and at the ninth hour, Yehoshua cried with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, or Elohe, Elohe, lama sabakatani, which is being interpreted. Now, remember that key from the Christ Messiah groundation, which is being interpreted. This means it's not in this particular way in its original form, but so that others could be informed, it is being interpreted, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Now, if we just highlight that part right here, where it says, uh, why hast thou forsaken me? And put this within the search, just for easiest and, and most uh, expedite our, our search here. We find something very interesting, you understand, in what we find. We find that this particular uh, phraseology within the scriptures, you understand, occurs more than one time. And then if we go to the origination of this particular quote, we will find exactly where the quote has been first used in the scriptures. I want you to remember the key from Tinbite Isaiah from the prophecy of Isaiah, which we had read and quoted from the outset, which says to us, let's bring it up again, which says to us, seek ye out of the book and read 
No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate, for my mouth hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Thank you.